Ring as the former British Super Featherweight Champion and the winner of the Prize Fighter Series. Ladies and gentlemen, from Cardiff, Dynamo Gary Falkland. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, and the black trunks trimmed with gold, weighed in at nine stone and ten pounds. Four fight record, four wins, or one inside the scheduled distance. He is undefeated from Dublin, Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, King Kong, in charge of the accident, Mr. Howard Foster. This is three, three-minute round, semi-final, number two. Okay, fellas, you both know the rules. Keep it clean, break straight away when told. Both of you watch your heads. Good luck to you both. Touch gloves. Good luck, lads. Gary Buckland, of course, has already won a prize fighter, looking to be a two-weight champion. And uh, Audley Harrison in the house. He, too, knows what it takes to win prize fighter. We're hoping they do another heavyweight prize fighter because he'll be putting his name up for that, you can be certain. Anyway, Second who's round. booking their place in the final? Will it be young John O'Carroll from Dublin in the black or will it be Gary Buckland? Buckland, you heard it announced, he's had five defeats but all of them in very, very good company. Can John O'Carroll find something over three rounds to inflict defeat number six on Buckland or will Buckland's relentless pressure just take Carroll somewhere he's never been before. Remember, he is very, very inexperienced, the Dubliner. No, but he looks strong too, and there was a maturity in his thinking the way he handled Stephen Foster. So, no, this, this is a good match, and, and, he, and he's catching Butland as Butland comes in, and it's the same little three punch combination, then nullifying when the other guy gets close. It's clever stuff from Carroll. Buckland's going to have to punch as he moves forward. Buckland likes to get close then, let the punches go. He's going to have to punch on the way in. Okay. Yep, he's getting clipped. Fucking a little body shot there, Buckland, but you know, catching him with a right hand upstairs, and Carroll just says, right, come on, let's have a go. See, this is a clever stuff, nullifying, not allowing Buckland to get off when he gets close enough. Again, with a good right hand to the body. Buckland's going to have to be careful, he doesn't waste a lot of energy hitting nothing. This little guy is really clever. Oh, he swung out of that big right hook. Buckland just gone miles, but can he keep Buckland off for nine minutes? That's a tough ask. Well, he has to keep him off for six minutes. Two rounds is what he needs here. And I think he's been out boxing Buckland in the opener, the, the pressure beginning to get Buckland closer, but he's missing badly there. But Buckland's got the style, he won't mind missing a few, he'll just keep the punches going. Never mind the, the, the success rate, and when he does land, how's Carroll going to cope? Carroll so far doing a lot of cocky taunting. Carroll looking for a little breather there, and you can see that. Uh, this is a real good blend of styles, this is good stuff. Clever boxer against the all-out aggressor. Good work again from Carroll, couple of nice body shots then, out of range, distance between them. Only missed there. And again, just backpedalling. Straight in Buckland, forcing it to reach. You know, he's really clever the way, as soon as Buckland gets close, you know, he nullifies the work, pushes himself up close, doesn't give him any room, and he's making him miss wildly. That can impress the judges as well. Now, I like Carl in that one. I tell you, Buckland went back to his corner, looking a little bit frustrated as well. Well, he clinched it every horse. I'll take that from this. Hold on, Elton. Hold on, Elton. No, he didn't. Right. Do you know what? You won that, Elton. You won that, Elton. That's got Colin's degrees with you, Jim. No, I thought it was really clever what he did. Putting little punches together. OK, he was caught a few times. Butlin certainly had his moments. That was one of them. And there's another. But he's cheeky, he's cocky, he's clever. And he's got a style that's uh, difficult to pin down. 
Well, he's an interesting character. I think whatever he does from here, John O'Carroll, this is a guy who I said earlier, Jim, his career just hasn't got going. Three, three fights in something like 23 months or something. But this could be the springboard to uh, something quite special. He's got some skills. And a southpaw with quick hands, good feet, terrific footwork. He can be a real handful for anybody. He's a handful right now for Gary Buckland. Round two of three. And Buckland has not been able to impose himself the way he did in that first fight against Floyd Moore. work just neutralized it's not flashy from Carroll but it's clever double jab Buckland and then it's Carroll out of range Buckland trying to use the jab this is better stuff at the moment from Buckland yet the jab trying to work in behind the jab as opposed to just trying to oh, pounce on Carroll the right hand there as well Buckland much better from Buckland at the beginning of this round it's calmed down he's got a cooler head which I think is really important against the, the slick southpaw Carl's going to have to be careful he doesn't, uh, you know, start getting warnings for the spoiling up close. And Buckland swinging and being made to miss again. The big load up swings aren't going to work against this fella. Buckland looking to try and get close. Not so many body shots from Buckland as we did in that first fight against Carl. Just making that look really easy. Flashes of class from this man, this young man. No, Buckland started oh, right well, right good right hand there, and then a left. But, no, Carl's tough, uh, Carl is tough as well. That was a good shot he took there. But he doesn't want to be taking too many of those, Jim. Not against Gary Buckland. Comes back with the right hand of his own there. See, he's not been given the time that he had in the quarter final against Foster. Landed a very good shot there, but Buckland walked through it. Now looking to work the body, Buckland. This is much better from the Welshman. And the work rate not so impressive from Carroll, who's finding this ring getting smaller and smaller the longer this fight goes on. Caught again, solid left hand from Buckland. See, Buckland's been in so many of the wars in his time. This is where the experience of that will pay dividends. He's been here so many times before and never shirked, never will. Buckland continuing to hunt his man down. And if he lost the first round, he certainly won this one, and it sets up a terrific third round. Yeah, this is a much better round for Buckland. Oh, how is bleeding from the ear? I mean, he, he took a cut on the scalp against uh, Declan Geraghty last month. A big right hand once again from Buckland, who just puts an exclamation point on what's been a terrific second round for him. And Carroll's starting to look a bit ragged. Well, he celebrated towards his fans there, Carroll, but I think that was a, an act of defiance because that was Buckland's round. Well, I think it's the second round that might decide this one for us, Nick, because uh, that took a lot out of young Carl. He was forced to t fight the type of fight he's not comfortable with. He's slick, he's cute, he's good on the move, he likes to make fighters miss and punish them, but he was forced to stand his ground and slug it out there, and that is Buckland's game. But a terrific round, nevertheless. I have it one round apiece, I have it hinging on the third round here. Well, this is growing up on the job for John O'Carroll, the 22-year-old novice. Three fights going into this prize fighter tournament. He's getting an education right here. Well, is it going to be enough? Can he get past Buckland? Or will the former prize fighter champion book himself another final berth? All going to come down to these last three minutes. Buckland just eager to engage. Body shot coming in there was borderline. Got away with it there though, Carroll. Buckland continuing to just hunt his man down. 
Harrell. Not sure either of those landed. Bouncing off the gloves. A clipping left hand there from Buckland. Well, it's clever looking stuff from Carl, but it's out of range. But he's on the move. But not landing, Jim. He's just not landing. I think he's trying to give the impression that he's out boxing Buckland. But he's not. But they're missing, not, but, but Buckland's not really getting the chance to score with any real clean shots either. This is a, a scrappy round compared to the other two. And that's going to suit Carroll because this might come down to a coin toss. We're down to 1 minute 40 left of this fight. And it's still all to play for. Who's got the big finish? I just wonder if it will be the strength and maturity in the last half of this round. We know Butlin will give it everything to hear that bell. Carl is the one who's had to change what he does. This is not the way he likes to do business. Will I give the advantage to Butlin? Carl looking to try and land himself. Got caught as he committed. But he's got to commit. Good body shot once again from Buckland, who is grinding him down. If this was five rounds, you'd put your house on Buckland winning. But it's only three. And even now, though, you just sense that Buckland, although he's still being made to miss, is just imposing himself. It's force of will from Gary Buckland here. Yeah, this is Buckland's kind of fight, but full credit to Carl Louise going about this. This is terrific, but Buckland's right hand landing cleanly. And this is new territory for John O'Connell. He's not been anywhere like this in his career before. And a big swinging right hand from Buckland, who is really teeing off now. He needed someone to impose himself in the last 90 seconds of this fight. And that man is Gary Buckland. Inside 20 seconds. I just get the feeling Buckland has just given a little bit more in this third round. Tough round to strut them, both had their moments. Well, for me, Carroll has just faded away, but we haven't heard the last of him. This has been a terrific learning night for him. And for me, Buckland has come from behind to book himself another prize by the final. Although the way they're celebrating in the Carroll corner, you, you think they think they've won. Well, I think they know too that it hinged on that the last round and they've got every right to celebrate because what a terrific show that was from the young man outside the remember. You know, the, when the eight boxers were picked originally, that was a terrific three-rounder. Terrific. And the stats suggest that Buckland has won it. But, you know, a lot of us think Carroll got that first round. Buckland would have had to win the last two. But, you know, whatever happens, and if Carroll has lost... We haven't heard the last of this young man, no way. Nick, I don't mind who goes through in a fight like that, that was terrific. I have Buckland going through, I have him winning the two, two rounds to one. But you know what, we've seen the decisions, close decisions tonight going the, the, the other way, fine. I would have no complaints, but I do feel that Buckland just got more punches home, just did that little bit more and forced Carroll to fight his kind of a fight. Some terrific right hands landed by Buckland in the last minute. That was probably the bottom. Then he let another one go and another one. So a lot of the eye catching stuff for me did come from Buckland. But what good entertainment, wasn't it? It's been terrific. Every fight tonight has been terrific. Well, is it Wales or is it the Republic of Ireland in the final? A prize fighter here at the York Hall. I think we're about ready with the decision these last anxious few seconds as we await confirmation of who books their place against Michael Devine in the final. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds in semi-final number two, we have a oh split boy. decision. Oh boy, here we go. Ian John Lewis scores the contest 29-28 in favour of Buckland. Michael Alexander scores the contest 29-28 in favour of Carroll. Charged Phil Edwards scores the contest 29-28 in favour of the winner and into the final to join Michael Devine. Ladies and gentlemen, from Dublin! It's Carroll! It's Carroll! John 